for kings. Monty Python and the Holy Grail is a film from 1975 by the creators of the British comedy show, Monty Python. This was their first film that was not based on their TV sketches, but it uses a lot of the same intellectual irony, absurdity, and physical comedy. This movie also stands in the tradition of medieval Arthurian romance, stories about King Arthur and his knights. I teach a course on one part of this tradition, Sir Thomas Mallory's 15th century Le Morte d'Arthur, which is a long compilation of major narratives that has actually had a lot of influence on later literature and even film in the English-speaking world. If you've seen The Sword in the Stone or Excalibur, then you've seen a storytelling tradition that descends from Mallory. I'd like to end my Mallory class with a screening of Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and the students, having slogged through 600 or so pages of untranslated Middle English, always find connections that they wouldn't have noticed before in the film. For instance, the original story emphasizes Sir Galahad's perfect saintliness in his pursuit of the Holy Grail, yet the film has him nearly giving in to the hilariously unchaste atmosphere of the Castle of Zoot. Monty Python and the Holy Grail is a fun romp, and it's also spawned a Broadway musical, Spamalot. That's another way that the genre called Arthurian romance is ongoing. Since its misty origins in the Middle Ages, it's one of the longest running specialty genres in literature and culture. <laughs>